A Uncle Akoon video? Why not just quit the game you hate? That's actually a good question. Question. Why not just quit the game? Uh, hey guys, long time no see. Chef Uncle here. Yes, Chef Uncle now. Uh, so this video was supposed to be named uh, Do Not Date uh, Genshin Fangirls. <laughs> But that would be too much of a fedora tip, you know? It's my problem for going after those types. So. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks to my new experiences outside, and we have part-timers who are, uh, I guess, young adults who are playing Genshin, who hates the game, but they do not want to quit. So... I want to talk about that. I haven't done this in a while. Listen to the new chef uncle who has matured, I guess, I think, probably. I know, I still say cunny. Am I even mature? I don't know. In the current landscape of social media and socializing, you cannot escape miHoYo games or games made by HoYover. It's both a good and a No, you really can't. You really can't now. HoYoVerse has been super fucking mainstream all over the place. It's insane. It is honestly insane how much they've been everywhere, dude. And I've, I've played all the games, bro. i played all the games. It's crazy. Oh, man. What is wrong? What is wrong with me? I am. I, I am actually so... <laughs> Yo, I'm a Hoyover I'm a Hoyoverse fan, but I don't like one of their games. That's crazy. A bad thing because it's good because you have something to talk about easily, but it's also bad because it gets toxic. Uh, for the record, I still play Hokai Star Rail and ZZZ. I don't like Genshin Impact, not because it's a oh cultural representation, not enough. We need more black people. No, <laughs> but because Genshin Impact is simply not my thing anymore. It has no end game. It's all about exploring. I guess Genshin Impact is as wide as an ocean, as deep as a Hoyo vs Boycotter, and because of that. I don't really like Genshin. I am an end game sweaty player. You can even say I am a meta. <laughs> so true. I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of like that. I'm semi like that. I'm half and half. I enjoy the content and the meta in a game, but I also go for the waifus, dog. That's that's just how I am. <laughs> I also go for waifus in game because that's the fun part. I don't want to talk about meta all the time. I want to talk about meta and waifus, dog. Oh, not for me. No problem. I can skip this game. I can live without it. And besides, I can I can play Genshin Impact with my left hand. Hey, so why can't these people just quit the game? It's this man is left-handed. Oh my god. You can do it. The uncle can do it. Why can't they? Well, that's simple, because to them, Genshin is just not a game. It's a culture, it's a conversation piece, it's something that unites them together. It's a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle for people. When you, when you play a franchise or a game or, any piece, or consume a piece of media that you love so much, at a point, it just becomes your life. It literally does become an integral part of your lifestyle. Like, for instance, Blue Archive. I've been talking about ever since I started playing Blue Archive. And it's been this year, dog. Ever since I started playing it. It has been in my life already. <laughs> this is so long. It doesn't even feel that long. But, it are, but I've been talking about it. I talk about Blue Archive. I talk about the characters. I talk about the JP News. I'm soon enough, I'm gonna get merch. Like, that is how, that's how, like, integral Blue Archive as a franchise means to me now. Like, for instance, a perfect example is Xenoblade. I have Xenoblade body pillows. I have the Xenoblade um, 2 and 3 art book. 
I have the Xenoblade 3 music tracks, the disc music tracks, a Pyramithra Amiibo. I have all the games. Like, dog, Xenoblade is another thing that is integral to my fucking life. I don't talk about it off, super often, but when I do, holy shit, it's so fucking good. Let me know down in the comments uh, if there is a franchise or a piece of media that is just part of your lifestyle that you just love to talk about i would love to know that if they stop playing this game they have nothing to talk about anymore simple as that they cannot quit something they don't like anymore oh also pokemon is another integral thing to me as well i forgot <laughs> i forgot to say that as well because if i went on a tangent about pokemon i'll be here for hours and you do not want to hear me talk for hours about pokemon because if they quit Am I really friends with them anymore? Because we don't really have something in common aside from Genshin. We're all basic as hell. And that's why they're stuck in this uh, very toxic relationship with a game they don't like. And they're just gonna force themselves to keep playing the new content, the new event. And uh, I feel bad for them. Honestly, I just feel sorry at this point. Uh, oh, and before I go... I really hate the Mihoyo boycott because they really just don't stop playing the game. They don't want to quit the game. And by definition, right, a boycott means to refuse to buy a product or take part in an activity. So sure, you are not paying for the game, but you are still taking part in an activity that is... Ay, caramba! So it, it, it doesn't make any sense. It, it really doesn't make any sense. I... It, it's hard. They just, they're, they're too addicted. That's the thing. They're too addicted. There's a difference. There's addiction. And then there's just flat out enjoying the series. And just enjoying the series and talking about it casually. While also being able to talk about other series as well. Even though I love Blue Archive. And talk about Blue Archive. Almost, almost all the time. Not all the time, but almost all the time. I still talk about other things. I talk about side games, you know. Pokemon, Pokemon, Xenoblade, Nintendo, and all that kind of stuff. I'm hyped for the Mario and Luigi game. I've been saying this. I'm very hyped for the Mario and Luigi game because I just enjoy that fucking series and the franchise. But them, but they're they're addicted to this thing. The difference they're addicted to Genshin so much that that's the only thing they play and talk about is wild to me. Like you can't, you really cannot play or talk about anything else. I know they have, they gotta have other games to play. And if they don't, then there's other gacha games to play out there to talk about and connect with the community. So, it's just so stupid. And then you will see some people defending, um, actually, because we're not playing, we're not paying Mihoyo anymore. They're bleeding. Uh, no, my, re my no, <laughs> because you're playing the game, you are still part of the metrics of concurrent players. Yes, I don't think people get it. Just because you don't give them your wallet doesn't mean you are fully fucking over or not helping them. Just because you don't, I'm gonna repeat that again, but in a better way. Just because you give them their wallet and still play the game doesn't mean you're not out of the loop. You're still giving them, like Uncle Akun said, that concurrent player metric you're still give them that retention player retention dog they love that current player retention data just because you're a f2p player and you still keep playing the game and you're a boycott against this game does not mean you're out you're not completely out until you delete the game stop playing unfollow them on social media and just don't say shit about them until they fully change some shit but they just keep playing they think because they're f2p or they don't spend money or or they never spend money again well when they used to spend money but stop spending money to think that this will change things it doesn't work like that mihoyo sees that oh the new natlan update didn't really affect our player count uh, even though we lost like nothing 
It's a fight that's not being fought by the victim. The boycotters hold no weight. The admission of guilt that some people are still playing the game. Uh, I really just wanted to make a video of uh, which Genshin fangirls are the most toxic, but I really don't wanna come off as a fedora tipper. But I really wanna make content as well. Uh, so that's my admission of making this video. I admit I have no content this week. <laughs> as someone who went to a teenage phase where you wanna be a savior, it's not worth it. That's hell you're walking into, says Archer. It's just really not worth it. Uh, why do you want a Hoyoverse boycott? Uh, you don't really mean it. Or you do mean it, but you're still playing the game. They never stop playing the game. Uh, I'm going now. <laughs> I'm going now. Uh, you guys have fun. Uh, and remember, uh, the most toxic women with uh, Genshin profile pics, I'm gonna have to say, it's either those with child, Oh my god. Profile pics. Uncle, you're you're projecting real hard again. Uh, of, of course, I'm broken hearted. I I don't think I've ever had that problem with the the fangirls cuz I just don't talk about the dudes. I think that's I think that's simple enough, right? I just don't talk about the dudes and we're all good. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're all good. <laughs> hey all right that was it but yeah funny video that was actually a funny video and did go into perspective of things let me remember guys let me know in the comments what you what's your integ what's what's a game or franchise or media that is integral to your lifestyle that you pretty much just went above and beyond to not only like get murked get murked all that kind of stuff like outside the game not just talk inside the game but outside the game as well I would love to know it in the comments section below. Anyways, original video is in the description. You already know that. I linked the original video, and I'll see all y'all later. Thank, take care. Also, before I sit, go, um, drip videos, uh, drip check videos for Rio, for Rio and fucking Kisaki will be coming. Will be coming up. Don't worry. Kisaki's gonna be first this week, so prepare. So get ready for that. And Rio's will probably be will be second, and then the. And then Nagusa for BA Trials will be also next. So keep uh, keep an eye out for theirs. But all right, I'll see y'all later. Peace. I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. Down in Pumpkin Hill, I got to find my little speech. I know that it's here. I can sense it in my